President. The Senator from Arkansas. Famously known as the natural state, my home state of Arkansas holds the proud distinction as the nation's leader in rice production. Last year, Arkansas produced more than 50 percent of the total rice grown in the country. On average, farmers in Arkansas grow rice on 1.5 million acres each year. Ninety-six percent of those farms are family-owned and operated. As the number one producer of this crop, Arkansas has a unique role in the industry. That's why I'm proud to recognize the 26th anniversary of National Rice Month. I'm pleased to promote policies that enable our farmers to manage risk and ensure that high-quality U.S. rice remains a staple on tables across the globe. This industry is not only contributing to a nutritious and balanced diet, it's also an economic engine in rural America. Nationwide, the rice industry accounts for 125,000 jobs and contributes more than $34 billion to the U.S. economy. In Arkansas, rice contributes more than $1.8 billion to our state's economy and provides thousands of jobs. We can increase both of these numbers even more if we open additional markets for our rice producers to compete in. Rice farmers all across America would benefit from a change in policy with Cuba because rice is a staple of the Cuban diet. The United States Department of Agriculture estimates that U.S. rice exports could increase by $365 million per year if financing and travel restrictions were, listed, were lifted. Arkansas's Agricultural Secretary has said the economic impact on the state's rice industry could be about $30 million. Rice production is efficient. More rice is being produced on less land, using less water and energy than 20 years ago. As great stewards of the land, rice farmers are committed to protecting and preserving our natural resources. I'm proud to celebrate 26 years of National Rice Month and honor the more than 100,000 Americans involved in the rice industry. Additionally, I'd like to make a comment about the devastating floods that northeastern Arkansas experienced in August. The recent floods caused serious damage to crop production, including rice. Many of these crops were near harvest stage. The University of Arkansas estimates that the state suffered $50 million in crop losses due to the recent flooding. This damage has largely, largely flown under the radar, and the final damages may be more than this preliminary estimate. The governor of Arkansas has requested disaster assistance from the DA. And last week, the Arkansas congressional delegation wrote a letter in support of the governor's request. Secretary Vilsack committed to me that he would expedite this request as quickly as possible, and I encourage him to do so. Agriculture accounts for nearly one quarter of Arkansas's economic activity. One out of every six jobs in Arkansas is tied to agriculture. Rice production is a vital part of agriculture's contribution to Arkansas's economy. I'm committed to helping our rice producers succeed in today's global economy.